we actually teach people how to use today's technology, which most people don't know, has adaptive capabilities. Well, I saw the biggest need for the iPad and the iPhone because you can have several devices that you used to have separately. So by having an MP3 player, the cell phone, a CCTV, many readers, all these different devices in one small portable device is great. And it's going to be just making people's life a lot easier. They actually have blind users that are testing these different applications and then they give their input. Mobility devices are going to demystify quite a bit of computer technology at large. We just simply want to email, maybe some form of instant messaging, maybe video conferencing, some basic research on the internet, just simple Zoom magnification, basic Macintosh usage, and how to enlarge the screen. We offer voiceover, which is a screen reading technology so that you do not have to visually see anything at all. iBooks, Facebook, Foursquare, Magnifier. First app I downloaded was called Looktel, and it actually is a money identifier, and it's going to identify any of your dollar bills. $20. So again, it's another device. You can have one device where some people used to $1. get their separate money identifier for $200. The app is only $1.99. The human aspect of touch is going to be very important in this and kind of eliminating the fear factor of not wanting to approach the technology. And then of course the seniors, you know, a lot of older seniors calling, do you think of the iPhone as something that I can use? So now they can come in here, I can sit down with them one-on-one, -on -one, show them exactly how the iPhone is used and whether or not it's going to benefit them. And at 92 it's kind of hard to dig in and uh, make the brain work and, and absorb these things. Mm -hmm. I have macular degeneration. I wasn't really going to take the class. I was just going to watch him. And then Woody said, here, you can learn too. So he gave me his to use. And it, it's great. The first app, that, the application that we downloaded on iPad, of course, was the Braille Institute Vision Simulator. And I use it during my low vision consultations because some of the family members or caretakers are coming in and they don't understand what their mom or dad can't see. So when I pull up the vision simulator, I can say, you know what, this is what your mom can see or what she can't see. Come down to the center, visit us, say hello, walk around, visit the people, talk to our volunteers, talk to our staff. That'll give you a much better idea of who we are and what we do.